in this third lecture of visual fields we will discuss the already discussed uh, different patterns uh, different algorithms uh, and different uh, indices of visual fields but in detail like what is threshold supra threshold fast algorithms uh, seta standard seta fast so first comes the threshold testing algorithm it takes longer time and detailed visual field assessment is carried out it checks one point many times patient get fatigued loses attention one eye takes 15 minutes for full threshold on the other hand seta works on the predictability if you pick a point with low threshold it will not be checked again and if you miss a point it will be uh, tested again with increased uh, stimulus so it is a quick test seta standard takes uh, six to eight uh, minutes per eye and its results are comparable to full threshold whereas seta fast takes three to four minutes um, in full threshold all points in the area are tested in seta standard 90 percent of the points are tested uh, and if normal rest 10 percent will be assumed to be normal seta fast uh, tests 80 percent uh, of the points and if um, assumption follows a standard per pattern it will not test uh, remaining 20 points supra threshold checks few points uh, with stimuli of bright high luminance and compare with age matched population to detect grossly visual fields they are used for screening now comes uh, the central 30-2 what does central mean central means that centered on fixation target and 30 means 30 degree area temporally and nasally around fixation is tested 24-2 24 degree temporal area is tested to the 30 degree nasally to describes the pattern of the points tested 10-2 is used to assess a central area of radius 10 degree it becomes significant in advanced glaucoma when there is a split fixation and foveal lesions 24-2 30-2 are used for detecting and monitoring glaucoma as well as they can easily pick neurological lesions now comes to the reliability indices always check reliability indices at the start of reading printouts because <clears throat> there is no need to proceed if the visual uh, fields are unreliable so first fixation losses means how many times patient moved his eyes uh, so if patient uh, loses fixation three times uh, during test uh, out of 10 times checked uh, it will be written 3-10 so 30 percent fixation losses and if four out of 10 40 percent then test is unreliable but sometimes blind spot enlarges in diseases and test will be accurate despite high fixation losses some machines elicit audible voice along with visual target and few times no visual target is given but only sound is given and if patient clicks on the sound a false positive is recorded these patients are called trigger happy patients and then you will get a very pale gray scale on printout in high false positive errors it should be less than 33 percent then usually in a full threshold test early in the test you perceive the stimulus and later missed at same position with same intensity that shows fatigability or tiredness or inattention false negative is recorded should be less than 33 percent clover leaf pattern is appeared on gray scale as you can see in high false negative errors Grayscale and numeric display already discussed details. So now come to total deviation. It is difference of patient sensitivities from age matched population. For example, if in numeric one point is 30 recorded 30 decibel and age matched is 26 decibel on total deviation, you will get minus four and a dark box. So if in a total deviation grayscale most points are black these assumptions can be wrong by possibility of less than half percent pattern deviation is adjusted values from total deviation by removing the masking effect of the media opacities now comes to the global indices 
mean deviation pattern standard deviation and visual fields index now visual field index is the measure of the patient's overall visual field function uh, expressed as a percentage normal age adjusted value is 100 percent zero degree means perimetric blind field 50 percent means half of the fields are lost it is nowadays used to monitor progression and assessment of the field defects in glaucoma it is less susceptible than the mean deviation to the effects of cataracts and other media opacities ophthalmologist in intend to keep the visual field index as high as possible like in this patient it is 60 percent almost half of the fields are lost in this patient visual field index is 94 it means that six percent of the fibers are lost and remainings are intact so visual field index should be as high as possible it gives a good prognosis now comes the mean deviation for mean deviation we plot a normal hill of vision and then plot our patient's tested hill of vision and we measure the difference between the two and then take the mean value of all differences added divided by the total number of points tested and we get our mean deviation it gives us impression of height of hill of vision it should be within six less than 6 between 6 and 12 moderate visual field defects and above 12 severe defects then comes the pattern standard deviation it is actually a standard deviation which will be zero if all values are similar in sensitivity and if few values are too much deviated from the rest of the group standard deviation will be high so pattern standard deviation gives us the shape of the hill of the vision it should be less than 4 mean deviation should be within 6 now at the end medimont visual field printout of progression analysis is shown baseline is the average of current and previous two tests in difference from baseline exam the present test and the two previous fields are compared point wise now points which are unaffected in current and previous tests are displaced as dots if a recent visual field defect is uh, seen only in the new test it is displaced as empty box if a selected point is deteriorated in the current and the last visual field test it is shown as half field and if a selected point has been progressively deteriorated over the course of all three tests it is displaced as a full field square so medimont is medimont is a good machine to check the progression and monitoring of the glaucoma so that was all about this visual field discussion and in the next we will discuss neurological defects thank you very much